honorable sisters, brothers, and friends. Uh, there uh, is some critical important issues, and I, um, whether anybody likes it or not, in raising the state of the art of discipline of theology, I speak from a position of authority. Now, in my midweek happy hour, I begin with mentioning the previous uh, celebration of the Mass uh, and celebrating, of course, the proof of Christ when I think he was in a synagogue and it was this irrational boy and he used his power to bring sense to this irrational boy. Now, when I wanted to see how good I could do, and, you know, naturally how great, but how good I could do in the discipline of really advanced concepts in theoretical mathematical physics, uh, they even referred to him as the god of science way back then. So this was a challenge. I've got to really see this god of science, what he really is and presents. Well, about the first paragraph, as far as what he represented in the discipline of theology, I, I couldn't accept. Uh, it's just guess, guessing. And, um, well, let's get the what then he was supposed to be, the best in theoretical mathematical physics. Well, he said, absolutely. Not maybe, absolutely, that in order to obtain the correct, the correct, not philosophical viewpoint especially, an individual, his individual philosophical viewpoint, the correct answer to our universal phenomena was for his opinion. Well, as I studied his opinion, it turned out that what they were calling the Einstein transformation equation was really the Lorentz transformation equation that he worked out mathematically and him delving into trying to put forward uh, the, his concept that this universe was all of particles and it was based mainly then on from a uh, flow of and uh, the the complex multi uh, transfer of particles. You see, they always said that electricity flows from positive to negative. But actually, it's the negative electron that flows. And then they say, well, it flows from... And now I say this without practicing maybe for 20 years, because I haven't spent the last 20 years essentially, and now my main interest and challenge, the discipline of theology. That it may be... Well, in the diode you have a flow from a greater amount to a lesser amount. Now, do you understand? Now, he said, Ab, it has to be. And then he got so much clout that they said, oh, you do it that way, that's the way it is. And I said, well, is it really uh, what this universe is? 
And now I just studied each known uh, mathematical physicist and uh, their thinking, how they presented their work. And he said, you have to use irrational thinking that man to get the correct answer, which he has, and decreed. He didn't say this is what I think. He decreed that light was the ultimate universal velocity. Well, I checked all references, and the big, a big plus for him is what uh, I understand the English using politics, which they do, it's called dudgery all the time, was to say that by the eclipse, that it showed that light bends in a gravitational field around a star proves his thinking. In my, in my opinion, it just proved that the quanta, the quanta that composes the light particle has a gravitational uh, amount. The gravity is natural in all matter. And the greater the mass, like this star, the planets revolve around the star, orbit the star. And the Earth, with its mass, the moon essentially, they say, revolves around the Earth. But actually, because the moon has considerable mass, they revolve both around a point in space that I think it's about uh, three quarters of the distance from the Earth, a quarter from the moon is the center of where they both revolve. You understand? Now, on the basis of philosophy, on the basis of common sense, I tried to bring sense to an irrational situation. Well, that's the mathematical physics, where you can prove by expressing yourself, especially mathematically, what is uh, verifiable. And the amazing thing was, that after I was absolutely sure and spent at least a year, day and night, and using theoretical experiments, uh, which Einstein used, therefore he used them, then in my opinion, others can use them, anybody can use them. So after uh, at least a thousand theoretical experiments, I came to the same conclusion, that for man to get the best answer, was to have two feet on the ground and think rationally and come up with what really is rational. And you can then get to where the average person, you common sense. Now, when I was sure, it took me a year before the criminally insane Hoover's, Hoover, the criminally insane Homo Hoover, would allow the phone call to go through. And he, uh, and I, now I show you, I was talking to a young man in a science club. And I said, well, I think I speak from a little authority that you have to consider what's rational. And that is, if light bends in a magnetic field, the fact that it bends instead of going to tangentially at the same velocity in order for it to bend, there appears, in my opinion, to be an increment of less velocity. Well, well, I, no, I, well, I conferred with Einstein and then a couple of looking, and, and frankly, uh, it appears as though that is correct. I didn't want to say what actually occurred. And this young fellow says, you spoke to Einstein? 
And I said, well, yes. He says, oh, do you understand? He can't grasp the rationality, the truth. The fact of the matter is that Einstein realized he had to agree with me or he'd be a liar. Do you understand? I tried to bring rationality to our political way we do things. And they said, if that honest man gets authority, well, he will replace us. And we're not going to have that. No. The English started with their, uh, well, the Spanish Navy with, with the storm lost. Otherwise, it would have defeated England. And England would have been under control of Spain and all the North and South America would all speak Spanish, not just mostly South America, from Mexico on down, speak Spanish, you understand? So they had control of the seas, and therefore they went somewhere and put a flag, that's all. So they would brag that the sun never sets on the great British Empire. Well, they start from London then, as far as time. Okay, you certainly get a, get a prime meridian and say, that's fine. And what about then this trade? Well, they travel all over the world. And so they have where their ships go out and come back. And those who had a little money and influence would then watch if their ships made it. And if they did, then that price, they could get a price. So they started to do what they could project. You understand? Then they started to sort of gamble. Well, you know, gamble. They sort of said, well, I think this ship will make it. And before the ship did it, they would then buy or bid. And so started a marketplace where by projection and, say, expertise or just guessing. Well, from that London market. We go over to New York. New York's the biggest city. And then as the U.S. gets more and more people, it goes from coast, especially to coast. Uh, the Indians now uh, put them on a little reservation. They own everything. And so they're now a, a big power. So you have then where this New York stock market has tremendous clout, and everybody gets into the stock market. Well, in order to do business, you can't just carry, say, gold is one of the heaviest metals. You can't just carry gold around in your pocket. Well, we put the gold in the treasury, and we print money for the gold we have. Oh, okay. So there's a dollar of paper money for a dollar of gold. Well, we need more money. Well, uh, well, we'll pass a law that now what we considered was gold representing a dollar now represents ten dollars. Well, okay, everybody needs use ten dollars. Well, a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars. Few people see, oh, they'll show they got gold, tons of it. But that gold is in so much hock that the U.S. dollar is, is in more debt than almost all the other countries combined. Now, I only have 15 minutes, so I'll get right to the point. This U.S.A., this King George, because they said, well, kind of royalty. King George, Queen Hoover hypocrisy has lost, not just to me individually, it's years ago, at least 50 years ago, has lost internationally. If you want paper money, I'll give you the Sunday comics, and it's more colorful, and it has uh, some humor. Thank you.